Hello everyone, my name is Chimendin DBC, speaking to you live from United Kingdom. Yeah, um, I just want to say a little thing concerning our young ladies, our young uh, young ladies that are preparing to go into marriage. Yes, this one is for you. Uh, actually, I, there's a video I watch in on internet. Uh, I saw a lady, she said she's a doctor and she's married for six years and um, she had four kids. I think she said her husband is a television journalist or whatever. Um, she was, she said, according to her, she said she, she was trying to tell the husband, the two husbands has a child, a side chick that he was trying, that the husband spent so much money for the side chick so she was trying to tell the husband to reserve some money for the kids so that they can be able to take care of their children so because of that she got beaten from her husband so these are domestic violence which is very very bad and uh, due to the love i have for my young and lovely single ladies and men that are out there preparing to get married that's why i'm making this lovely video for you yes um uh all i just want to say is that if you're out there you know you're preparing to go into marriage um, some people when they see a man that want to get married them the next thing they think of ah my wedding gown how is it going to look like uh my decoration uh Part in a, in, a, in a wedding. How is it going to look like? How much am I going to spend? I need this one. I need the best expensive shoe, the best expensive wedding gown, the expen best expensive uh, uh, whatever. Mm. I am telling you that those things are just ceremony. When marriage starts is when you join that man in that house. That is when both of you start living together. That is when your marriage starts. Yes, so my dear sister and my dear brother, hmm, you have to sit down and pray and ask God about this person that you are going to marry. Yes, it's very, very important. And you have to find out, does this man have the fear of God in him? Does this lady has the fear of God in her? Because it only takes a man that has the fear of God in him to take care of you as a wife. Yes, as a wife. Because some men, they have, they are grown in age. They are grown in age, but just that they don't have wisdom. Yeah, some men are mommy's pets. Some people, some men, what they do is that if they want to give uh, their wife, money to cook first of all they have to call their mom and say mom how much should i give my my wife for her to cook if they want to buy clothes for their wife mom look at the amount i want to give my wife for her and she, she asked me that she told me that she want to buy um outfit for herself uh, how much should i give her so men are like that their mom is pet everything they want to do to their wife for their wife they have to inform their mom we have some men that are like that why some they are wife beaters some they some men they don't know how to control their anger yeah they cannot control their anger if you talk to them anyhow they are gonna give it to you anyhow you want it they will beat you hell out of your head so there are so many of them some of them some of them are stingy very very stingy it's very difficult for you to get anything anything from them some men are like that they are very stingy. Why some men nag? I am telling you some, they are nag. They can nag more than a woman. There are some men that nag. Yeah. And some, their, their own weakness is cheat. They can have numerous girlfriends. Yeah. They can have so many girlfriends out there. Why some? some many of them, they have their own weakness and all that. So that's why my dear lovely sister and my dear brother, please, 
You know, it's a sweet thing when you see somebody you love you want to marry and all that. Please do not be carried away with love. First of all, go and pray. Ask God if this person is real. If what he's showing you he is physically, is he actually the person he is? If there's any hidden thing that God should show it to you, if you yourself as a man or a lady, if actually you're a good person, I am telling you there's no way God will not show you who that person is. Yes. Yes. Some ladies, things happen to them because when they were single, they were doing the same thing to this, to other people's husband. That's why sometimes when I see things, I don't quick. I don't judge and I don't like to, you know, speak against anyone. Because some people, things happen to them due to, you don't know what they have done when they were single. It might be that maybe when that lady was single, she was busy, you know, sleeping around with other ladies' husband. Some ladies, they do it. When they are single, the only people they can go after is people's husband, collecting money from them. And by the time they get married, the same thing because the word said that what you, that word that said that what you sow is what you reap, and that's it. You cannot sow bad and reap good. You might be doing those things then and be doing it and be doing it, enjoying yourself. Then now, eventually, you are married, and you want to enjoy your own marriage. So, some people things happen to them due to they did it when they were single. When you are single, you are busy sleeping around with other people's husband. Then you are married. You don't want to enjoy your own. Other people will be there to also do the same thing to you. So, my dear sister and my dear lovely brother, all I want to say is that if you are preparing to go for to go into marriage, please get close to God. Pray to God. Don't be carried away with love. Don't be carried away with things that you are getting from him or whatever or from her. Even it's not, it's not even advisable for you to be collecting anything from the, the man or the or the lady. Because those things you're going to be those things is going you're going to be carried away with those things. It's better for you to go into your knees and pray to God that God should reveal who this person is. If you are closer to God, there's no way God will not reveal those things. To you so please if you if you know that you are preparing yourself to get married please don't be carried away with the love or whatever make sure that you pray to God to show you who this person is and his attitude before you accept that and as a lady, you look yourself. You look into your life. You notice that maybe you have a weak, a weakness. Maybe I mean a, a weak, uh, a weak, a weak point. Maybe a kind of person that that not too much, or maybe you you. Let me just say, as a wife, you are. You notice that your husband is a cheat. Is a cheater. Maybe he has a side chick and all that. You don't have to start quarrelling with him, and all that. All you have to do, you pray, God, please, please change my husband. Please, God. Maybe before you get married to him, you did not know that you, you were carried away with love. But now, the love has cleared in your eye. And things have done, turned to the worst. Please, don't kill yourself or don't give yourself high BP. Pray that God should change your husband. And then when you pray and talk to him, you notice that this thing is getting worse. He's trying to kill you in the house. Marriage is not a do or die affair. <laughs> it's not a do or die affair. Please give him some space so that both of you can search each other to see if it will work or not. If it cannot work, my dear, stay on your own. When death call you, you je -je -je go and meet God. Yeah. Instead of you to die, maybe if you two of you are living together, you can kill each other. And when you mistakenly kill him or he, he kill you, hellfire. So the best thing is stay on the safer side. 
And as you are staying on your own, do not go and commit adultery. That will, that will be the worst thing. So when you are staying on your own, both of you are trying to see if things will work together. If things work together, you come back together and live as husband and wife. But for you, instead of you to kill yourself in marriage, my dear sister, my dear brother, give space and both of you should go and talk to God and pray and see if you are meant to be together again. Yes, I'm going to end this video. Okay. I will see you in my next video. Keep keeping yourself happy. Don't kill yourself because of somebody. Don't allow somebody to steal your happiness from you. If you are a wife that knocks so much, please change. And uh, you don't carry false accusation against somebody, something that you're not sure of. Some ladies, I'm telling you, some women are the cause of their problem. Yeah. Some, they are not sure of if the their husband is cheating or has side chick or whatever. They are not sure. <coughs> they will be accusing the man, causing a problem. So please, don't accuse him if you are not sure. The only thing you owe him is to pray and show him love. You can win somebody's heart through love. Show him love. Show him love. By the time you do things that will touch his heart, even if he's trying to go into it or he's doing it, my dear, God will help you and turn, turn his heart and change him or her. And if you are the type that nag too much, please stop nagging. Give that man peace of mind. Give him peace. Stop nagging. And if you are a bad wife, Maybe you don't cook for your husband. You don't take care of him. My dear, girls are everywhere. They are out there looking for who will put them in the house just to for them to say, ah, I am married, or for them to answer somebody's swami. Take care of your husband and your wife. Yes. If you're a man, take care of your wife. And if you're a, a, a lady, a, a wife, take care of your husband. Ladies are out there. So many of them, they are looking for somebody who will put them in the house. Even if you want to, as a lady, as a woman, you want to go out there, maybe you have those deceivers. Yeah, they are deceivers at the corner there. Because of that, it, it, maybe you became so rude to your husband because they are deceiving you, telling you that they will take good care of you and all that. My dear, if your husband send you out of that place, they will run away. They will not marry you because there are so many beautiful, beautiful Ladies that are out there waiting for who, who, who will marry them. So they've not even finished marrying some people that are not even, you know, gone into that. And they will not come and take you. Please take care of your husband. And live in peace with your husband. If you only have limited time in this world. It's a limited time. So I don't see reason why we should, you know, just live our life anyhow. There's no time on this earth. So that little time, that, li that person that God has given you as a partner, you people should try and grow in love, grow together, grow all together. Have your children, train your children, and grow all together. And you live peacefully on this earth, the little time we have on this earth. And we leave this earth. Hmm? There's no perfect marriage. If you're trying to run out out there to go and meet that one that is there waiting to deceive you, my dear, even if you go there, that one might be worse than your husband. You might be complaining that your husband cheats, that your husband cheats, and your husband cheats. Your husband. If you go there to meet the other person, Mr. B, that is out there, that one might not even give you money to eat. <laughs> yeah, he might not give you money to eat. He might not be able to take care of you. Yeah. So, my dear sister, please take care of that man. Hmm? My, dear, my dear brother, take care of your wife. Yes, take care of your wife. If you know you are not ready, you are not matured to go into that, leave her with her parents. Let her stay with her parents. Another man who is ready and responsible will come and take her. If you know that when you marry when you, you, you marry her, you will still be cheating outside. Remain single. Yeah. As a man, some men, they have it in mind. I have met a guy that said that by the time he married that he will still have side chick. You understand? And that's why we, all, we ladies... We need to pray. You have to pray very well. So many of them are out there. 
a guy can if a guy can say this to 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 somebody ah and by the time he marry in future now and have side chick the lady he marries in the house will start you know suffering what she doesn't know about so please if you know that you're not ready to take care of a woman to take care of your wife don't marry that lady leave her in her father's house somebody who is ready and responsible will come and pick her are you single ladies i am going to say that if you are preparing waiting for that mr right to come and pay your dad please i am begging you when the person comes please do not be carried away with love first of all try and find out from god who this person is is he does he have the fear of god in him is this man real is he going to take care of me and my children is he going to love me till death do us apart pray and if you live a life because you cannot be praying to god to show you somebody who is bad why you you are bad so if you know that you are into all kind of corruption bad things evil things my dear repent repent from it because sometimes what you sow is what you reap things happen to people due to like some ladies they complain that their wife cheat i mean their husband cheat and all that maybe when they were single they were after going they were busy going about going around and sleeping with married men and now that they are, they are married the young ladies the young ones are doing the same thing to them so please my dear sister and my dear brother if you know you are not matured to go into marriage stay single hmm? stay single and don't go there to uh, start beating a, a, a woman become a woman beater a wife beater or a husband beater yes and if you're a nagging woman please stop nagging you are sending that man away out of your house if you are not sure if he's cheating please do not disturb that man give that man rest give him peace of mind from your nugget nugget attitude and stop that false accusation give that man peace of mind some ladies are the cause of why that man is treating them the way he's treating them i'm gonna end my video here please if you like my videos hit that button and subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you in my next video goodbye